leaving the city that is on the coast of Arabian Sea to go to the city that is on the coast of Caspian Sea. This is Mumbai and I'm going to Baku for the World Cup 2023. I was very very relieved that I was in the flight. And this is the Baku airport. As we made our way out to the airport, there were people who were there to receive us. And also, there's an information desk related to the World Cup right outside the airport, which is really cool because all the players would then get proper transport to their hotels. As I moved outside the airport, I realized this was the first ever time that I was going to set foot into Azerbaijan, a new country. And my first impression of it was everything looked very spacious. You know, as you move towards the taxi and then as you move into the city, the roads were wide, there was greenery, there were very nice structures that were built. I found Baku nothing like what I had imagined. That's a football stadium there, made so beautifully. I'm sure that many of the football fans would be aware about it. And you know, we, I asked the taxi driver if he knew about Rajabov or Mamediaro and he said he knew it. Look at this structure. Such modern structures there in the city. And I was just amazed and I was constantly, you know, shooting outside the window of the taxi because I felt this was really nice. Look at this building as well. Kind of twisted look, but so beautifully done. And then we moved closer to the hotel Marriott and that's the skyline of the city in the distance and on the left now is the Marriott hotel as we move towards it that white structure you see this is where the world cup is going to be held and this is where nearly 70 percent of the players are going to stay well, I'm here as the official commentator for FIDE for the first round and as I entered into the room I was quite curious to see how it was generally you know you know that five star hotels are going to be amazing there you are very happy after a long flight uh, and I opened up the window to see quite a nice view from my room you know you have again that spaciousness that you can see from the room, uh, very few people, very few vehicles and also many many buildings and the room is quite cozy and uh, I mean I'm just alone so a lot of space. And then after I settled in I went downstairs and there is a direct route that takes you to the Boulevard. So I just went out, took this, took these steps down outside, and as you turn left from here, you go towards this again beautiful, spacious uh, region, the boulevard, and the water is so near. This is the Caspian Sea, and I think this is the perfect thing that a chess player wants when he's playing a stressful tournament like the World Cup. After your game is done, you can come here and walk or before the game also, the weather is quite good. I mean, at this point, I think it was roughly around 25 to 30 degrees. So I, when I was outside, I was not even feeling so hot. The water is blue, very clean. It's a perfect place to just stand and relax here. This is a nice uh, shot that I took from the distance. There you see the city skyline. That is, I think, the city center mainly. So it's a little far from here, 15 minutes maybe by taxi. But, uh, and this is the entire boulevard. You know, you can walk here. 
and there in the distance the white color building is the Marriott Hotel. For food, for lunch, uh, we had a lot of salads. All the players who stay in this hotel have food included and this is what they'll get to eat. Different types of salads, breads, and then you have uh, desserts and uh, mushroom soup it was. There was also uh, ratatouille which is a vegetarian dish with lot of vegetables uh, nicely made. The organizers have taken care to provide with a lot of vegetarian food although this is not vegetarian this is beef kofta. Uh, this thing over here is oven baked potato and then we have grilled chicken fillet there's also rice so this is not your usual five star spread uh, but there is quite a bit this coffee tea and also juices that are there so if you are eating here you have enough uh, variety to at least find something that you would like this is where uh, the entry of the hotel is this is the reception and as you turn towards the left and you move in this direction this is where the tournament is going to be uh, behind those doors on your right here is the reception and uh, there's again a desk here where everyone can go and get their accreditation. You can see Gopa Kumar there, there's also Ilya Smirin, and uh, there are also goodie bags for the players. This is the playing hall. It was still uh, in the process of being set up as the tournament starts from the 30th. But it's wonderful, very spacious, and also the women and men are going to play in the same playing hall and this is where I will be commentating along with Irene Sukandar. As the day came to an end I just went outside to see what the atmosphere was like and there was a live show, uh, there was a singer, there were people just relaxing, the weather was very nice and I think uh, it's a good place to hang out. Hi everyone. Today is the morning of the 29th, uh, we are just one day away from the World Cup. I travelled yesterday, this entire vlog was about it and I'm, I've woken up very fresh today. Um, but I must tell you what happened yesterday because that was just unbelievable what I did. So I reached the airport and I'm in the queue to check in my luggage at Air, Air Arabia. And you know, when you are in that queue, someone comes and checks your passport and visa and they did so and I gave it to them and I was like, okay, now I have to go and give my bags and then go. I, I arrived two and a half hours early and they said, when they checked the e-visa, they said, look, your passport number is so and so and on your e-visa, the first number, the first letter is wrong. So it starts with Z on your passport, but you've written F here. So I had actually made a mistake while filling in the e-visa and in Azerbaijan they kind of asked you to confirm it and I had confirmed it and I had got the visa and I was very happy I didn't recheck it. Now it so happens that if there is a discrepancy there then you cannot travel. And so I was stuck there and it was in the morning, uh, the time in India was around 3 am, I think around 2.30 am. The flight was at 4.55 and uh, I was like, okay, this seems like I'm done, it's 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 all over, I, I have to go back home. But then I decided to um, message a couple of FIDE officials, uh, Dana Raisnishe helped uh, by connecting me to uh, Nadia Krauchuk and Nadia was just unbelievable. Uh, she told me, first things first try to apply for an urgent visa which is a three hour visa and so I applied for it instantly I don't know I didn't know how it would help because three hours I had only two hours left and then she actually
actually called the travel agent of Fide, who called the lady at Air Arabia in Baku, and she was convinced that you know he has already applied for a new visa, and that he would be traveling. Uh, and uh, this is only a small uh, issue there. And so that lady actually wrote back to the Mumbai authorities, and all of this happened in that one hour. Next one hour, she wrote back to them, and uh, then the people at Air Arabia in Mumbai said, "Okay, you can travel." There was this guy uh, who helped me a lot uh, in this. So they were very helpful people, and then they, when there was like 35 minutes left, they said, "Now run if you can make it to the gates." uh you can take the flight and i ran and then at every um instance like let's say at the immigration i asked people if i could jump the queue uh when i was running towards my gate uh there was a guy uh in the buggy who said that you know come i'll take you to the gate and i managed to reach uh the flight and once i took the flight you know i i was hoping that by the time i reached sharja which was my first stop over i would get my visa and um, that did happen when i reached sharja and i connected to the internet the visa was in my inbox i sent it back to um, nadia and uh, the fide team and uh, from there i took the flight to baku and at the immigration there were no issues and i managed to make it uh, so it was a very very exciting journey and so many people helped me i'm very very grateful to that for that and i'm actually looking forward to the world cup guys do follow it i'll be commentating on the fide channel for the first three games uh, along with irene sukandar then vishy anand will join in from round 2 i'll travel back home but shahid is here he's going to come uh, he's going to cover this event for chess base india and amruta and i will commentate for from home uh, later on and we're going to follow this lot of players a lot of indian players 17 of them let's hope that one of them makes it to the candidates